More science. So much science. And more health. Good. I need that. A little low on the old health prospect. Um, you know what? Oh. That's right. I'm the best. I don't know what that was. But I am, in fact, the best. <laughs> you know, puzzles, they're real difficult. You just, you just hit the button and it works. I have no idea what that was about, but, you know, whatever. Someone died behind these bars taking a nap. A young child. I mean, there should be... What was it, 150? Twins? How many, how many twins was it? There's, there's a lot of them. The answer is there's a lot of corpses around here somewhere. I, I have some acid stuff. Just pour that bad boy on there. Ah, oh, beautiful. Uh, it will take days. <laughs> okay, is there somewhere I could take a nap over here? VHS videotape. It's written on the label. Okay. How am I, how am I gonna wait days? Like days? That's gonna be a long time. Where am I gonna use this VHS tape at? 1980? I mean, I... There's the one in the basement. But the power was off down there, wasn't it? Nothing else to do here. Yeah, I have no idea what that puzzle was, but I, I did it one... One clean sweep. Nothing else down here? Spooky area? No? Alright, well, uh... Got a cassette tape. I poured some acid on a lock that'll go into an effect a week from now. Can I watch the VSA VHS tape upstairs? In the, uh... I thought it was a cassette tape that they wanted, but maybe not. Maybe they want a VHS tape. So we go up this, and then we, uh... Wait, are we in that room? That took me directly to the third floor. Or the second floor, really? Well, that's weird. Huh. It's a long ladder. But yeah, this thing. This could maybe hold a VHS tape. It can. I this is I would not have guessed that, but okay. I mean, I did technically guess that after after finding it. All right, what we got here? I okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. I would have watched it, but yeah, just go ahead and Super Mario sixty four it. I'm sure, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. All right, I've gone into the past. All right, I've got a plan. Now that I'm in the past, I gotta... Peonies? Poin... Poines? I have no... Pennies, roses, or jasmine flowers. I can never remember. Still feel the butterflies in my stomach. Her cold skin under my caress. How she loved the poems I would whisper to her. This one I felt when I had to let her go. It was until much later I was able to scream into the wind. It's okay, it's definitely not just this button again, is it? No. Okay. Okay. Here's my plan. We need to get back in that room. I gotta pour acid on the um the thing. It's just like Resident Evil 7. If you unlock the thing in the past while watching a VHS tape, of course it happens in the future. Uh, 1967, the experiments keep failing. All the fetuses are misshapen. I have n I have an idea that will allow us to obtain more test subjects and accelerate the process. But to do it, I will have to do something terrible. And its lives will be lost. I have faith that God will give the uh, give us the necessary strength to complete our mission. No matter the cost, our goal is sacred. Alright. So, we need to press these and write. So, flower. Some type of flowers I can never remember. So, it's head. Stomach. Arm, head, stomach, arm, ear, maybe, ear or mouth, head, stomach, arm, ear. Um, that's gonna be mouth, okay. 
head, stomach, caress, whisper, and heart. Is there a, feels like there should be one more. So it's stum oh, stomach. No, it's head for the flowers. Okay. Head for the flowers, then stomach, then holding, then mouth, then heart, and then mouth again. So head, stomach, holding, whisper, heart, yell. There we go. Thor okay, so I wasn't the all-time champion. It was just the puzzle was broken beforehand. Wait a second. Uh, before I run off, I should probably just look at the rest of this room. Like, there's, there's bones. Nothing about these bones? Nothing about those bones. Okay. I figure I should probably check the rest of the room. Uh, undergoing a medical procedure. I'm not sure what kind of procedure involves using a hammer on his face. That's that's not a medical procedure. I'm pretty sure that's just murder. But you know what? What am I to say? Calendar. 1980 the 15th. Foul smell emanates from this body. It's fine. We've uh, we've solved the riddle of the Sphinx. Now that I'm in the past. Yes, small child. I will be I'll be here for you in 40 years. Don't worry. Could you imagine if I just I just slider the shotgun? Like here you go. What you, what you do? You give him the shotgun, and then you pour the stuff on the door. Go like, all right. You can either wait a week, or the next time someone opens the door, just shoot him. You'll be good to go. Who are you? you Get it back up first. Seem to be one of them. Frustration. One of them? What are you doing down here? Have you been paying attention? Reading any of these diaries about sacrificing small children to the the moon? The, the, the lack of a moon? Technically the lack of a moon. My grandfather and those men in suits locked me down in the cell. Please, miss. You have to help me get out of here. Of course I'll help. Stay calm, okay? Everything will be alright. It's right. fine, I don't promise. worry. Okay, this acid yes. will only Where take a parents? week. My father is on a business trip. He should be back in a couple of days. And my mother was also captured by those men. I'm so sorry. I'll get you out of here. First, we need to find a way to open the door. I have a gun. What do you plan to do, miss? Those men in suits took the key with them. And I don't think it's a good idea that you get close I, to them. I, again, gun. Gun to open lock. Gun to open face. I'm sure there's a way to get the lock off without using the key. Please hurry. There isn't much time. I mean, it's we really only gonna work mother. if we take a week. We'll get you out. Just wait a little longer. Little in quotes. Just here you go. I'll be back to uh, get you out of here in a couple months. Takes several days to have an effect. All right, yeah. What have you done to the lock, miss? I poured some acid on it. The metal will eventually dissolve, but it will take some time. I only hope that the acid works fast. There's almost no candle left. You have to be patient, little one. Sooner or later, the lock will fall apart. For It'll now, five the best days. Can do is wait. Thank you. What is your name, little one? I'm Anna. Anna Wildberger. I live here in the hospital with my parents and my sister. Have we met before? No. Your face seems familiar, but I'm sure we've never seen each other before. Do you work in the hospital? No, but I have this photograph. Are you one of these girls? What? Why do you have this photograph? Someone emailed, or no, not emailed me. Just mailed it to me regularly. I don't know, but I'm trying to figure it out. It was mailed to me a few weeks ago. A few 
two weeks ago? My father took that photo yesterday morning, just before he left Look, for his trip. You won't understand. You I, touched to a, I touched a, I touched a canvas. At, well, I I touched like the projector screen. <laughs> Look, I went back in time. Don't worry I swear about I'm it. I'm not lying. I'm telling it's the truth. It's fine. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go touch a camera. I'm Why gonna teleport to the future. Me? I just want to help you get out of here. I'm not talking to you anymore. That acid was probably another lie to fool me. You never wanted to help me get out. Is is her arm her right arm? Her right arm, our left. Is it supposed to be holding that bar or what is that arm Anna, doing? You have to listen to me. I need you to trust me. I am your friend. Look, I'm gonna give you four or uh, four vials I don't of morphine. Want to talk to you anymore. Use Anna, these when you need it most. Alright, you know. Enjoy the death in there. I'll be back in about a week. Ooh, safe tape. All right, small child, you're on your own, right? I don't want to. I mean, I could, I could probably use a gun on it. I could probably use the crowbar on it. I could probably use the hammer on it. But I'm just gonna teleport to the future, and she's on her own, really. It's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Come down here. Now, will there be still be a small skeleton? Did the skeleton escape? Who knows? I mean, she'll probably die of dehydration before that lock breaks, but you never know. Oh, the door's open. Um, anything else in here besides a chair? No, just a chair. All right. Just the chair. Oh, and a key, finally. Yes. A hundred years later, we get a key. A young child's diary. Uh, 15th of November, 1980. Something very odd happened. A woman holding a lighter that brightened my prison appeared from the darkness. At first, I was afraid, but her features reminded me of Mother. She came close to me and told me she would help me get out of here. Then she poured acid on the cell door lock. Show me a picture of the father took, or the picture that father took of Emma and me a couple days ago, and told me that she had received it in the mail more than a week ago. After that, she left with the promise of returning. The acid worked. The woman was right. I just need to wait. Luckily, the suited men had not arrived yet. I'll find a place to hide until father returns from his trip. All right. Well, we got a key. Whole time she was holding out, she had a key. Which I can maybe use on, like, okay, one, wait a second, I'm the skeleton real quick. Yeah, see, the skeleton has a face. And uh, past skeleton did not have a face. So, apparently the, the, uh, the operation was to get a new face, and it actually worked. Lost the skin, but he did get a new face. Pretty, pretty impressive. We can finally leave the dark basement corridors. It's been like seven hours. And we can live our life in the sun. Hooray, we have the key. And we can go this way and perhaps use the key on the door. Maybe, I, I really don't know. It's, it was like, what, 538? 358-358? One, One of these dumb doors had shapes on it. I don't remember which door, but there's a door that has shapes on it. We have to find that one. This one does not have shapes. This has 5, 3, and 8. Um. All right. Well, let's just, uh, we want like a five. See that, that, that one's an eight. That one's a six. That's a five. <clears throat> it was already on the triangle. I'm a fool. There we go. Five, three, eight. That's gotta be it. Surely. It didn't turn. 
Why is there sideways? Right? Is is that also something weird? Like I need to do okay. Well getting esoteric here. How do you put the key in? I wonder if I need to have like five or like five and three side by side and then eight straight back. See, like, I, I have five and three like this. So this would be... Got five, sort of like that. And this would be three. Having to, well, this one, this doesn't really make it five, three, and eight, does it? <laughs> Can I have this go forward? No, it only goes at angles. Why are the numbers sideways? We know one side equals one. So we, we know that the the dumb thing is five, three, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, three. I'm pretty sure this is eight. It's two, four, six, and eight. Still doesn't work though. Hmm. Why would why are the numbers sideways? What would that even imply on this thing? Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure this is the door we need to use it on. What? Okay, what if, like... Five. Let's have the three be on a side here. So like five, three, and then straight on is eight. Well, if we swap the two, so the five is on the other side. No. Am I just being dumb? I could be being dumb here. Because this is probably the front of the key, right? You, th This little line tells you it's the front of the key. And I can't make something go sideways. Like, directly sideways. I can do... It, it's... It's... Six-sided. So I could theoretically have the eight at the back. Eight, me? Is it an upside down eight? It could be an upside down eight. So we've got um, the five on the side, the three on the side, and the eight on the back. The, we're getting some weird combinations here. No. Then we'll flop these two around, try that. I don't expect any of these to work, but I'm not really sure what to do. <laughs> the answer can't just be this. I just put it in just as is. Yeah, definitely not. Tell me your secrets, Key. What could you be holding? But I am, in fact, the best. Just, <laughs> you know, puzzles, they're real difficult. You just, you just hit the button and it works. All right, 600 years later, the door is open. It was 530 of all things, which uh, <laughs> I tried a lot of combinations. The the eight was side, okay, so I assume they didn't have a zero when they were making the door or whatever, so they used an eight. And uh, I tried a lot of combinations. I tried like, I think I, I, think, I, think I tried more or less everything. <laughs> Uh, I even tried in reverse because if, if you read it sideways like it's written, it'd be 035, which 
apparently not not the right answer. It's five three zero. There are demons in here. That's locked. Can't see the demon. Demon will be a problem for another day. Save stuff. I love save stuff. You got any save in here? All this save stuff. Oh, Grandpa. You, you okay there, Grandpa? How's it going? Father, what happened to you? There's a lot of shoes. Like, what, what was with all the shoes? You're in shock. We need to take care of your injury before you bleed out. He's lost an arm. Oh. I must find a way to help him. Like, I've got... I've, I've got a first aid kit. He's lost a... Hey, yeah, I got a first aid kit. Okay, I guess Grandpa's missing an arm? There's... Nothing really in here. I mean, if you're gonna lose an arm, lose it at the hospital. It's probably the best place to do that. Just to be safe, I, I think it's a big guy, so I'm gonna take out a shotgun. That's not good. Um, I can... Grandpa, do you mind if I teleport to a different dimension? No? You don't want me to do that? Oh, this is weird. Oh, we got like a lightning gun in there. Can I have that? Can I have that gun? It's more legs. Ooh, I'll take your bullets though. Welcome to the leg room. All legs, all the time. Door's been blocked off. Okay. Uh, I will. I guess I'm gonna go into the an alternate dimension and maybe put Grandpa's arm back. Well, yeah, I just use the lighter on it. All right, Grandpa. Hold on. I have to go to the sewer dimension. Actually, Grandpa, I'm gonna go check out the lightning gun in this dimension. Ah, of course, it's locked on the other side. Of course it is. Grandpa, how's it going in here? Alright, I just gotta find a fake arm. Just right next to the old face, huh? Look, Grandpa needs an arm. I bet he's got an arm in there. The intensive care corridor. Can't go that way. I can go in here though. Room 2D. No, please. Noise the noise. Ooh, shotgun chills. Hmm. Killing a werewolf? What is happening here? Well, yeah, I got this sweet knife. Chop chop. Sorry, wolf. Gotcha. Parchment. Goods? Ah, it's just a monkey thief. The judge reads the sins aloud in the un er, in an unwavering voice. His fingertips sliding rapidly over sm over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. The defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips. The accused mother wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. The gavel hit; its victim resigned, and so the cold blade inevitably fell onto the innocent's neck. Ah, uh, okay. So did he steal a monkey? I mean, I could take the monkey head. All right, well. I keep seeing these uh, these open drawers. And I keep going like, oh yeah, just that means I need to open them and get the stuff out of them, but there's never anything to do. Is that morphine? It is beautiful morphine. Love to see it. I have no idea where I am. Uh, both the bathroom and the closet. Wait, can I take that? I can take the hammer. Good. Couldn't tell you what to do with the hammer. Please let me up. I need, I need to turn on. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah. That guy. That guy needs a a good good dose of shotgun. Yep. That is fine. Put more bullets in it. And 
back and go. Thank you, shotgun, for being just the best gun. Oh, well, we need a lighter. Ooh, arms. You want? You don't want to take more? I, I would take more. Ah, there's just a dead guy. Suicide. Case closed. Various medicine, but none that I want to take. More of the shoddy gun shells. Love to see that. Light this place up a little bit, why not? More medicine that I still can't take. You know, the morphine doesn't actually fix your wounds, right? You need to um, use other medical care. Can't really do anything about that. Like, morphine will keep you going, but it's not going to last long. You're going to need to uh, get some bandages. Band-aid, maybe. Don't worry, Grandpa. I found I found an arm for you. See, bada boom, bada bing. This is how you put the arm back on there. Just... Still space between the pieces. Um, just wrap the parchment on that. No. Hammer back in. Well, Grandpa, you're. Yeah, it's gonna fall off. I get that. The arm doesn't seem, or the shoulder doesn't seem too attached anyway. Alright, Grandpa, don't worry. I'm gonna go back to the regular world real quick. And, um, maybe find some blue. Still wanna check in here. We gotta be able to get in there somehow. Like, you gotta, there's a door there. Open this I can't open that chest either. Grandpa, just you wait. I will have myself a lightning gun. You might be missing an arm, but that that could be fixed. Do not do not worry, Grandpa. You just uh you just hang on there. If I murder this guy, or not this guy, but the the other guy in this dimension? Will that work? Gotcha. Oh, you got a friend back there, too. Gotcha. How many of these do I have? Seven more. One more of those guys down. Go ahead and do this. Mate, we'll, we'll swap to the old. Is he just dead? Oh, he died in one hit. That big baby. Couldn't even take it. Trash. Oh, yep, yeah, it's dying. It's not it's not a loading screen. It's me dying. Thought I, I thought I was loading there for a second. Uh yeah, but you, you see that gauze right there? You should really take that gauze. It'd be useful. For instance, uh keeping an arm to another arm, maybe? Just tie it right. Hmm. Really? Really? <laughs> Wouldn't want to touch any of whatever's in here. Is there really no candles at all in here? Guess not. Is there anything in here? It's a connecting bathroom. I get. It. Wow. There's just it's room after room and nothing. Can I, can I just have Grandpa, like, put a little bit of his blood on the thing? Maybe that'll help bind it. Nothing unusual. You can unlock this door. Ah, yes. Fake man and pink baby. Fireplace? I'm not sure if you want a fireplace in here. There really is just nothing in, like, any of these rooms, huh? It feels like there should be something. Like, where's all the stuff? Oh, wait, wait, I didn't, I didn't touch this. Um. Ah, yes, the parchment. I was kind of hoping to, um. Just pull it out there, but whatever. Okay, monkey thief, judge, read the sins aloud in a waving voice, fingertips. Uh, hypnotized by the lips, wrote letters. 
Uh, all right. The judge's block. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. Gotta put this in here first, of course. Fool. So, so uh, we got this decapitated. So say no evil. Just sit there. Sit there some more. See no evil and hear no evil. We're gonna need decapitate monkey. We're gonna need um like. We just have like Happy Monkey 1 and Happy Monkey 2. We'll go. We'll go like this, maybe. Hear ye, hear ye. Was that good or bad? That bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess bad. So many puzzles. <laughs> I'm having difficulty with the puzzles. Uh, the judge read the sins loud and unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over small bumps in the paper. Defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips. The mother wrote in all capitals frantically on a slip of paper she lifted it over her head. The gavel hit, the victim resigned, so the cold blade and everybody fell onto the victim's neck. So this would be like I'm thinking voice, eyes, and deafness. That's what I'm thinking. So be that. No, not that. This one. And then... I don't understand what the two monkeys just sitting around having a good time are about. It would probably be, you know, decapitation monkey. But I'm pretty sure this is what I tried. I can try the opposite way. So let's, let's say the judge is... Deaf. We'll say that this guy's still blind, and then the the lady can't speak. We'll try that. No. Hmm. See, I don't I don't know what monkeys represent. I mean, obviously decapitation monkey. But Like, these two monkeys look the same, and I don't really know what to do about that. I mean, you probably get Deaf Monkey, and probably... Well, this guy would be blind, wouldn't he? Because he doesn't see the paper. He doesn't hear the... I don't know, he probably hears more of this guy. And so that monkey's kind of just hanging out, having fun. This guy's resigned. I don't know which... What What is resigned for a monkey? Look, I know Grandpa's arm's gonna fall off, but we're, we're busy here. We're doing the monkey puzzle. It's always the monkey puzzle. I really don't know what to do with these monkeys. Is it? Is this also in... No, that's actually in English. Okay. See, I'm gonna say the last one's probably not... Oh, no, that... Okay, yeah. So, so the end. Headless monkey. Gavel. We got these two done. This one, the accused mother wrote in capital letters, frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. Which I would assume means she can't speak. The defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the judge's movements of the, or hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips. So I'm not really sure what this means. So I think this this has to be decapitation monkey. I 
has to be decapitation monkey. And this one has to be can't speak monkey. So this could be this monkey. He just casts in there. This monkey, not really doing much. Blind monkey. I would say this is deaf monkey because he's not listening. But this guy could also be deaf. That's not the button to use. I need to hit with a hammer. See, I don't know if that tries to move it somewhere relevant or if it just randomly spins them. See, that goes to the decapitated monkey. Hmm. Yeah, there's something weird with the monkey business going on here. I mean, I guess this could just be sitting monkey, like, well, judge monkey, and then bl blind monkey, and then speechless monkey. I really, that just moved up one. The monkeys, are, the extra monkeys are throwing me through. That was a, just three in a row. That means I win the banana bonus. I just don't know what these two monkeys represent. If I should use those monkeys at all. Let's say the judge is blind. This guy is deaf and then this one's can't speak. Alright, yeah, we're good to go. Got staple gun. <laughs> I was I was thinking I was thinking, what if the uh, the other two monkeys are fake monkeys? Like, don't use those at all. So I was thinking, what if uh, the defense attorney sh or the I don't even remember what, my, what I put in there. I, I I just a little bit a little bit of guessing. Grandpa, I could staple this staple this fake arm onto you if you want. It's probably not great though. Anyway, so this is a, a cautionary tale to avoid the fake monkeys. Do not forget to avoid the fake monkey. Now the real question is, how am I gonna turn the lights on here so I can kill that guy and get the lightning gun? Alright, yeah, I'm not really sure what I expected there. Thankfully, I have a nail gun. Or, or not. Um... How in the world do I increase the, the strength of an L gun? Alright, give me that arm back. Fine, you know what? You can just leave that arm there. I should probably take the arm with me. Okay, so I can't staple it because it's the world's toughest plastic. Grandpa, look, you're bleeding out. I understand. I don't think you understand that there's like 16 puzzles between me and stapling an arm on a mannequin. You're just gonna have to sit here. You're gonna be fine. Shouldn't have played around with the guy with the sword arms. May have been a bit of a mistake. Ah, this is like blocked off. That's all blocked off. Uh, now I'm lost again. We didn't check the the closet, right? I checked the closet, which is blocked off by the baby carriage. Okay, we're just gonna go back to the demon realm and look around the demon realm a little more. Look, Grandpa, this is incredibly awkward. Don't worry about it. Into the demon realm, and then we'll go check out the, uh... It, and it's not like I could even examine the freezer, so I can't put something in the freezer. That door's locked, so we gotta go through this door. Because I was thinking, I could put the, uh... Do I need to go downstairs with the arm in the freezer? Like, how would that help? That, that's the question, is how would that actually help? There's the wolf in here, but the 
Is that supposed to be a monkey? That may be supposed to be a monkey. I can't actually open this door. We got the hammer from here, and we did the monkey thief. Whether he was stealing a monkey or sell or he was a monkey, who knows? Nothing else to do in there. Dead bodies hanging. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Nothing much to do in here. Alright, here's the plan. We open the door and we take the candelabra with us. Actually, that one is that even a candelabra if it counts if it's not sitting on the table. And this just starts to do the pain, right? Yeah, it's like pitch black. I can still try it real quick. No, yeah, that's definitely, definitely pitch black still. Hmm. So there's nothing to... Am I just going to have to walk down and just stick the dumb thing in the freezer? I don't see how that could help. The pack... Oh, the power's adjustable. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> It's a good thing I decided just to examine the nail gun. Yeah, thanks. Great. Ah, the, the dumb nail gun power is adjustable. Why? Guess I want to nail something a little less hard. All right, Grandpa. It's fine. I I looked at the nail gun and realized I could do stronger nails. Or staples, whatever. Hey, Grandpa, how's it hanging? You just didn't. Uh, uh, oh, you're fine. Still missing that uh, coke. Though. Father, are you okay? Did a little bit of surgery there. Carolyn, my child, that thing has stolen my Bible. Oh no. Stay there, Father. Right now, it's vital that you keep calm. Yes, you're right. I don't know how I'll be able to thank you for taking care of my arm, my child. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can even explain that. What are you talking about, Father? It wasn't me. Okay. Just she she knows it was her. The grandpa wouldn't. I I think I don't I don't think our character's following along with the plot here. But I saw you. Oh, you are right. I'm getting confused. Now that I think about it, it was Dr. William who treated my arm. Yeah, sure, Grandpa. Dr. William, the Wildberger twin's father. <laughs> of was course. He in the mansion? I had no idea Dr. William had daughters. Where can I find him? He's usually in his office. You'll probably find him there. All I'll right. go find him. He might be able to give me some answers. But will she be able to figure that out? Thank you, Father. I'm sure this will be of help. A lamp with a power switch. That's right, boys. We finally learned how to turn a flashlight on. Which means it's a nice trip to the death dimension to shoot a man. Now, the real question is, how do I... Uh... It flipped this bat. Is it just like always on? It's just always on. That's amazing. Grandpa's been holding out on me. Granted, he has been giving me the goods. He's giving me the bolts, the gun, the flashlight. Grandpa's got everything. Gotcha. Now a about that lightning gun. Show me the goods. Uh, that's not goods. Yeah, that's that's not goods at all. It's like the opposite of goods. I mean, those are some goods. Just uh, put that bolt back in there. Put those bolts in there. Show me. Oh, he's dead. Good. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in here, but I can open this door. Anything else in this room, though? No? Alright. It's fine, so I can go in here, unlock this door. Actually, reverse those two. Unlock the door, then go in there. Go through here. And then run back through here. 
And the lightning gun has been achieved. And the first aid kit. I'm actually kind of more excited about the first aid kit. <laughs> Can't open. There is no floor on that side. Hello, giant gun. Homemade stabbing weapon of, rele of releasing an electrical charge. Alright. I was kind of hoping I didn't have to stab somebody with it. But, you know what? I guess I'll take that. It is kind of spooky. How many bullets? Three? I got three bullets in the old electric lance. Not too bad. The real question is where to go next? We didn't. Did we get anything out of all this nonsense? Oh, we got a hammer and a staple gun. That's got to be used for something. I think more importantly, it's probably used in uh, the save room. We made we made much progress. We've opened a lock that took a hundred years. Solved some puzzles. Got a lightning gun, sort of. Figured out how to increase the stapler power. That's probably the most important thing there. Stapler power, hundred percent important. Also, we do have five of these. We have plenty of them. Any um, any updates here? Something tore off one of the priest's arms. Thankfully, the doctor, William, surgically replaced it with a yeah, new one. Yeah, sure. That definitely happened. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize a procedure like that was possible. Definitely didn't involve a mannequin arm and stables. I also discovered that William is the father of the twins in the photo. I should go to his office to see if he can give me some useful information. Yeah, I'm sure he's just doing busy work. You know, mansion full of monsters, people whose arms getting ripped off. I got, you know, I got some, uh, some stationery to go buy. Busy work to do. All kinds of nice, normal stuff.